Welcome back. On the uh, bench tonight is the Why Not. Uh, we, uh, uh, we flew this guy, we put it together with uh, three inch uh, motors in the rear and three inch props and five inch up front. And it flew terribly, just like everyone said it would. Uh, but I'm glad I did it. Uh, it was actually an interesting experiment. Uh, what, uh, what was actually happening as uh, the quad would fly, any sort of um, maneuver, even a straight line, uh, the thrust from, or the torque, I should say, from these front motors, any difference between these two motors would cause the rear to want to rotate left or right. And so naturally it would just do this while flying. It, it fishtailed pretty much the entire time uh, as it flew. Uh, it was almost like the worst prop wash you could possibly imagine. Um, so what I'm going to do tonight, um, because everyone's asked me to do this, is to replace these rears with uh, uh, some five inch motors, the same exact type that were uh, that we put on the front. And uh, then we're gonna take it out and fly it again. And um, so that's, uh, I hope that's what we're gonna get to accomplish tonight. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull all the props off and I'm gonna arm it here on the bench and make sure this motor uh, still works right because uh, this motor augered in. Uh, when it fell out of the sky, uh, I don't know if you saw the last video, but um, at, uh, during the flight, uh, I went to do a power loop and the difference in RPM between these uh, motors uh, made the flight controller think uh, that it was in runaway. So uh, I got up and to about this position and it said, nope, you're in runaway. And it fell like this, boop, and came right down on its arm. So I just want to make sure that the uh, the motor works. Uh, it spins free enough. It, it was all caked in soft, wet dirt. Um, there's a bit of play back and forth, but, uh, you know, overall, I don't see anything wrong with it. So it's probably fine. I mean, this thing, we, we knew from the beginning that this thing was not going to be the greatest flying quad in the world. It is, at best, an experiment rig, and uh, I don't mind uh, playing around with stuff like that. Uh, I even asked Jason Bardwell if he wanted to take a crack at trying to tune the uh, uh, the, the prop wash, well, not prop wash, but fishtailing out of it, and I, he wasn't interested. It's, it's, he, the, his first question was why, and the answer is, why not? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get started. Always remove the props when you're on the bench, because uh, otherwise you lose a finger, and you need those fingers, trust me. Having fingers is a good thing. I knew a kid, fun story, not that anyone cares, I knew a kid in, God, what was I, I want to say it was like fourth grade? I think it was fourth grade. His name was Sun Bear. Don't, don't know why, don't know his real name, that's what he went by. Parents were hippies. They moved out of a bus into the apartment next door to my mom. So, they, uh, their little boy was named Sunbear, and he was in the same grade, and uh, everyone made fun of him for his name, because that's what you do when you're a kid. And, uh, but his dad, he only had half a hand. <laughs> yeah, uh, all the fingers were missing. So it was really interesting, and he loved beer. That was the other thing. So you'd go over to his house to, for a play, you know, to, to, I keep saying play date, because that's what my four-year-old has with her friends. But back then, you just went over and played at their house for a little while. And uh, so that's what, you know, I would do. And I, I thought it was so fascinating to watch him do things, because... All four fingers were just gone. So when he gripped things, he just uses he just palm them, right? 
and beer. Beer was the thing that he could palm, and I was always like, wow, look. It's like he, he doesn't even need fingers. Yeah, I never asked what happened to them. I don't know why I never asked. It's a funny, funny thing when you're that young, you know not to ask. But you're still curious as to why. I mean, what happened to those fingers? You know, lose them in an escalator accident? All right, we were going to arm this guy. Let me grab a quick pack. I don't even know if this is charged or not. Let me grab my trusty T Rannis. And we're going to power it on. And switch over to our do 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 our why not select model do 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 nope exit and we're going to all right now if we hey look at that they're all four spinning that's exactly what we wanted to see and run away and uh, all right good now that we've done that we can we can power everything off again yep good now uh, in order to get these off of here we need to disassemble this part of the arm take out the screws then follow it back along here along these wires and these wires will have to have to do this and undo these undo all this stuff and then yeah see how long the the shoes are it's a Sam Gook it's, it's a shame about the DYS not that their stuff was ever great or anything it was just cheap and uh, I saw recently that blaster or booster booster I keep wanting to say blaster uh, booster which just sent out FPV crate stuff had a bunch of uh, motors left it we're selling 10 for 10 or 10 for 100 bucks I was like oh yeah I should get some of those and I was like wait a minute I, I haven't even tested these I haven't done anything with them so I'm kind of like maybe not a good idea and um, so I didn't I just kind of like I was like you know what I spend enough money on crap I don't need to go whole hog with it I just I mean, I don't need 10 motors worth of stuff. I have plenty of motors uh, up here. Plenty of motors to do what I want to do. Including some I'd forgotten about. It's like, wait a minute, I got those motors too. And the Emacs and the Echoes and the... Yeah, Ecos, not Echoes. Ecos. Echo, echo, echo. All right. Uh, I'm going to take this guy off of here. Ugh. Take out the run cam. Pop this guy off just so it's not in the way anymore. Um, leave that in place. And then we need to work out these guys. No. Um, let's take this part first. Yep. Yeah, this, uh, this quad's an interesting one. I, I, I really did like putting it together. Had a, had a good time, made a good video series out of it. Uh, it, it went on a bit longer than I'd like, but that's every build, honestly. Uh, uh, my goal is like three 40 minute parts or three 30 minute parts something like that but it always takes longer um, 
and that's with me you know kind of hurrying trying not to talk so much trying not to jibber jabber tell stories like about sun bear but um, you know what can you do you gotta get it done and these guys come up here yeah I, I actually have a plan for these Avengers um, they have a, a lot of uh, wire on them um, still so I uh, I'm gonna build a three inch I got a little um, Gep RC Pro whatever one the like, little cagey looking one I figure I'll toss these guys on there a little 25 amp HDLRC thing have another little three inch because I um, I don't know if I'll do a build of that one um, you know it just I, I I love doing builds I don't love necessarily setting up and filming and doing the whole spiel but I do it because I the, the editing of it honestly the recording of it I don't mind I, I can talk like this for for hours and hours and hours talk to myself it, it was awkward at first um, but I, I kind of adapted I guess let's change this just a little bit there we go yep I uh, got uh, got used to talking to the camera talk and just being quiet for a little bit I don't know I guess it's you know you sit in the basement and talk to yourself all the time people are gonna think you're a little weird but what do they know I make YouTube videos meh <laughs> all right uh, let's make sure I got the right motors yes these are the DYS these are the same which one I call it which one call it Yeah, I'm even going to reuse the rear props. I, I still have the, the <laughs> because I ran threes and fives, I still have the other half of the threes and the fives. So I'm going to reuse the threes and I'm going to reuse the fives. So I, uh, I don't see any reason to upgrade to anything else. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's about right. Okay. And it needs to go back we screwed this up last time it needs to go backwards down along the arm and uh, we are gonna uh, that's right these guys just don't like to sit flat they just they want to go up is that liquid tape it is Jesus We're going to dump these guys into this little baggie and one of these nuts. And that'll be the kit for that guy. And that's garbage. I think I think we tried this last time, didn't we? Didn't we determine that these, these screws are actually too long for this? I think we did. And I think I had to bust out. Yeah, Jesus, these things are enormous. Yep. Okay. Hang tight, people. Okay, one, two. Four. There we go. Uh, these might be that one might be too long. Oh come on! Where are my tweezers? There they are. So much easier with tweezers. Uh, there we go. One, two, three. 
Let's use these weird looking ones. Four. And then one, two, three. Where's number four? Here's number four. One, two, three, and four. And then these guys here can go into the bucket. And then these, I don't know what the hell these are. They go on the motor somehow. Where's that? No. Beats the shit out of me. I guess is as good as mine. <sighs> anyway, these guys all go with the other one. Alright, there we go. Now we're back in business. Yep. I, uh, I heard Hot Dog RC went out of business today. That's a real bummer. You know, place is closing up. My my local hobby shop, great is a great where was a Great Plains. I don't know. They're still around, but they don't do any quad stuff anymore. They got all they got are like micros and stuff. You know, binding flies and Spectrum. Ugh. Overpriced Spectrum, if you ask me. Some people love it. You know, I can't fault people for loving it. Um, but, I mean, I bought an I X8, IE8, something like that. I forget now. I'm sure it's hanging behind me. I could turn around and look. But I bought that guy when I bought my first real 5 inch quad, which was a bind and fly, because it's what they had. And I thought, oh, yeah, you know, I, I'll spend a little money and get a, a bind and fly because I, I you know I don't know if I'll really end up enjoying this hobby or, or not and I do that every once in a while I'll do something like that but and uh, so I got the this um, ancient vortex 230 that I paid four hundred dollars for I know four hundred dollars if you can believe that um, that was just Impulse buy that and the stupid thing was uh, got like almost a thousand bucks. The stupid remote and the quad. And I think I got a battery with it or something. I, honestly, it's been a while. I don't keep track. It's not worth it. Not worth keeping track. Just. Get it, fly it, crash it. And I still have it. As far as I know, it still flies. Uh, I don't remember crashing it and destroying it or anything. All right, we're looking good. We got one side done here. I'm about to bolt on the other DYS over here. And get this one pretty much done. This out of the way. Where are you? I don't even see it right here. It's probably hiding, hiding in shame somewhere. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't see it. Anyway. It's over here somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I, I just, I didn't like the feel of it. It felt a little plasticky to me. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm no expert on receivers. I only own many, many, many different receivers. Or transmitters. Transmitters and <laughs> receivers. Uh, yeah, I only own, like, let's see, I've got the, the new one, the jumper, I've got the DJI, the Tyrannus, the Microzone. Can't forget about the Microzone. Jesus. 
what we do without that one. But yeah, so I've got a couple of them, and I, I mean, it's an okay thing. The uh, the stupid quad that it's bound to, the only quad that it's bound to, is uh, that Vortex 230, and it is, it doesn't, um, it does stick binding, or, or stick arming, rather, stick binding stick arming that's what I meant to say and uh, that is just it's it's funky I can never remember what the procedure is and uh, when I fly it it um, the quad just seems ridiculously underpowered compared to even my my very first you know build which was a rotor riot CL1 that's the first one I ever really built and uh, I put a Lumineer, or yeah, Lumineer Lux 7, F7, whatever, I forget what, what all it has, and like a 50 amp ESC from Lumineer, and uh, yeah, uh, so it, it's a decent little quad, <clears throat> and it's got <clears throat> 2306. 2400 kV iFlight um, zings on it, right? And um, I really like those motors. It flew great, but compared to what I was flying, uh, that 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 Vortex 230, it, I mean, just dog compared to the Rotor Riot CL1 with the Lumineer. See what I almost did? I almost bolted this thing to the top here. Can you just... Yeah, I would be tired and frustrated. Alright, we are coming down to it just about. I think we may get this done in the next couple minutes here. And then we'll test it. Make sure it spins. Fix the spinning direction, probably. MBL Heli, sweet, and then put the props back on it, and then go fly it at some point. And I'll, I'll be sure to post the flight video as well, along with this, because, um, you know, I, this probably won't be all that long a video, all things considered. Okay. Yeah. So we've got that guy pulled it up. Good. Okay. Those guys are on. Let's get this thing torn apart. Now, in order to get this top plate off, you gotta take off this front cage. Uh, which is not the greatest design ever, you know? Uh, I mean Flynoceros has built something interesting, but it really isn't well designed for, you know, like being able to swap things in and out. Basically just build it and leave it the way it is. Um, <clears throat> and I, I, I don't necessarily mind that, but it's just when you just want to make a simple quick fix, it ends up being a much more drawn out, elaborate you know, effort that it needs to be. Because now this guy take off this plate now I again I don't like this design because as soon as I take out these these uh, these screws this whole thing is this, the whole quad falls apart um, and I, I really don't know if there's like any way to secure it on the bottom I mean maybe I could slide something through to keep them kind of from not doing it I don't know 
Maybe there's a, uh, a procedure I'm missing, but for me, the top and bottom plate, there just needs to be some secondary mount for the arms if, if, I, if I could have my way and uh, do it, you know, differently. Yeah, I, I, I'm hoping this thing actually flies pretty well. I'm guessing it probably does. You know, if you're not strapping something weird to the ass end of it, it probably flies great. You know, no reason why it wouldn't. It's just a, it's almost a regular quad. That's, I, I don't want to say it's a regular quad. This thing flies, props out, which is weird, granted, on a five inch. Um, but it's not totally weird. It's not like it flies different. Uh, it's just a different style um, that not everyone uses. And uh, boom, there it is. Now, um, yeah. So we have about, okay. All right, don't, let's see, those guys can hit there, and then wrap around. I am going to unsolder these right from here, rather than muck with taking apart the cable in between, if that makes sense. And I am also going to work on this camera angle. Um, because you can't actually see if I'm soldering here because of the way the camera is angled slightly. Um, and uh, I think I'm going to hang a boom arm and have it look from the top of my head down on the work surface um, to kind of give you guys a better, a better view. So that'll be the next couple of weeks, hopefully. i got to get some conduit and some, uh, some super clamps. If you guys know what those are, super clamps. I just turn on the bottom. I don't know why it wouldn't come out. Duh. I have branches that I can use on this, but I'm not using them. <laughs> All right, stack part number two. Right. Get this guy off of here. Move it all off to the side. A little bit. Oh, come on. Quit fighting me. You know you're coming apart. Yeah, more of a pain in the ass than I had hoped. But a couple more minutes. Do this right. Okay, I'm spinning the bottom one here. Yeah. Okay, need this slightly larger one, I think. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I want to get a different camera too. 
I uh, this Lumix works, but it's not the greatest camera. Um, mostly because it keeps shitting the bed. And I don't generally tolerate things like that. If it doesn't work, get rid of it. I do not like it. It goes and just stops recording. Like, it won't even tell me. Like, oh, won't beep, won't alert, won't say, oh. And by the way, I stopped recording. Thanks for playing. Have fun figuring out when you stopped recording. And then Yeah. So I just I've been looking at various ones. And uh we'll see. We'll see what what I can pick up. I was looking at a Z cam. It's a cinematic camera. I don't need anything quite that fancy, but I want something that works. I don't care how fancy it is, as long as it works, I'm interested. You know, that, that's my philosophy in life. I don't have time to mess with something that, you know, just doesn't live up to the expectation. If that makes sense. You know, I watch these videos I'm editing see myself reaching over my soldering iron I'm like oh shit he's gonna burn himself yeah that I I literally think that I'm like oh how, how the hell did you not burn yourself like, camera flattens everything out you know? like I'm reaching up and over this stuff all right Boom. That one's done. Let me see if I can get you a bird's eye view of this one over here. One. Oh, come on. Two. Slide it on out. Yeah. Slide. Come on out of there. There's one. And just nice and easy. Easy as can be. Yeah. Oh, come on. Don't jam up in there. Two and three. There's the other one. Good. Ready for another project. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? We're at 34 minutes. Good. I was shooting for an hour on this. I might just make it. And the box I'm looking for, nope. I got some uh, 30 yard wire uh, the other day, so um, better than the, the stuff I had been using from this guy. And don't get me wrong, I love his videos, and his flying ability is, in my opinion, pretty much unparalleled. It uh, he just doesn't. It, it, this product is overrated. Uh, let's not use my flush cutting pliers for cutting wire. <clears throat> That's why I bought the Nipex. Mm-hmm. 
and five, and number six. Last but not, I'm at the end of the roll. I'm going to be very pissed off if I'm at the end of the roll. Seven. All right, crisis averted. You can stop giving them shit for today. Okay, let's get one side tinned. And then we'll move on from there. Let's sit this guy a little bit out of the way so that you can actually see what's going on. I'm not doing this in my lap. Uh -huh. Oh, come on. Good. And some shrink wrap. Always comes in handy. How are we doing? Good. Uh, Yeah, hey, let's go to bed early tonight, dear. Sure. It's 10.30 at night. Get up at 5.30. Uh, but that's what happens when you have a four-year-old man. You just want some alone time. You know, time to be the person you were. Before you had a four-year-old. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. You know? I, I love, you know, love being a dad. Hanging out with her, doing stuff. But, you know, at the same time, I also love doing the things I used to do. You know, build stuff. Because it's fun. It's fun to build stuff. I get to build stuff all day at work, too. Software engineer. It's pretty much what you do. Design systems to... You know, do something. Jesus. 20... 97. How, how long ago was that? 22, almost 23 years. October of 97. Got my first tech job. And I thought, oh yeah, worked at some big name places, AOL, if anyone even remembers what that is anymore. Kids today have no idea, like AOL, sounds familiar, sounds familiar to them, because they've seen the commercials as children. But, you know. It's like pudding pops, you know, Crosby, Cosby, not Crosby, Cosby, yeah. That poor fucker, or marketing, the, the poor guy marketing those things now. Good luck. You can just see, I'm trying, trying to sell pudding pops again. I don't know how Subway did it. I, I, after Jared, how do you go back to to selling subs after the, the mascot you used? The fat guy, and I'm a fat guy. The fat guy mascot you used turned out to be just this disgusting pedophile. <sighs> I mean, Jesus. <laughs> and he bragged about it. What the hell is wrong with you? Going around. Oh, yeah. yeah. Buy our subs. We no longer, you know, molest children. I, yeah, I, I don't get it. How do you do it? Uh, let's see here. I guess these guys. One, two... Three, 
something I've never had to do not really anyway I mean you do a little bit of it all the time like oh yeah I, I can write something that does that you're not really sure you can though you never are until you've actually done it you got a pretty good idea of what you can do and what you can't do but time constraints and everything else just don't know. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can not put my big meats in the shot. That's not good enough. No, well, maybe it is. I'll leave it at that. Try not to burn myself. Sorry, it's, I'm in the way. Again, I didn't really think about the camera placement all that much. I just said overhead. And burn the shit out of my fingers. Come on now. Yeah, so I ended up with a camera that's, that was directly overhead, but the shadows and the glare was too bad because my lights are directly overhead, because that's where I like my lights. So, I notice certain YouTubers put the lights more oblique. So, like, behind the camera here is where I keep all my parts, usually in a big tray of you know one of the, one of these one of those things right behind me and uh so like i don't where'd the other one go there it goes the uh so i don't really have anywhere to put a light on that wall because i've got two of those things over there filled with bits and parts and you name it it's really way too much stuff plan to keep making videos for a while all right coming down to it let's see how we look at 44 all right We've got this guy and we should probably if my wife is gearing up for bed. Yeah. Putting the dogs away. That means, I think, it's time to call it. And I'll finish this up tomorrow. Because it might be a snow day. Yep. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm guessing you can hear that. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll finish this up tomorrow.